Kanye posted a picture of Corey Gamble, Chris Jenner's longtime boyfriend. The caption reads, God has a plan to remove the godless. Corey needed to never be here anyway. Kanye West has voiced his concerns about Corey Gamble, Chris Jenner's boyfriend, and there are circulating rumors suggesting that Corey may have been involved in an incident concerning his former friend, Justin Bieber. Kanye recently shared a photo of Corey Gamble, who has been in a long-term relationship with Kris Jenner. The accompanying caption implies that Kanye believes Corey, whom he describes as godless, was never meant to be a part of their lives, and that a higher power has a plan to remove him. Kanye has expressed his worries about Corey's presence around his children on multiple occasions. Given Corey's previous role as Justin Bieber's tour manager and his connections to Diddy, some fans are now speculating that Corey may have been involved in Justin's alleged grooming by influential individuals in the industry. So, what did Kanye disclose this time about Corey's unsettling behavior? Did Corey truly do something to Justin? Corey Gamble has been in a relationship with Kris Jenner for almost a decade, yet his origins and pre chris life remain a mystery. What we do know is that Corey has an extensive network of connections and is closely associated with influential figures in the entertainment industry. He is often seen socializing with the likes of Diddy, Jay-Z, Ellen DeGeneres, and Steve Harvey. Adding to the intrigue earlier this year, Corey was seen alongside Jay-Z and Beyonce, acting as if he were Beyonce's personal bodyguard. Apologies to Jay-Z for stepping on your turf. So, what exactly does Corey do for a living? Speculation has arisen suggesting that Corey may be a Hollywood handler. For those unfamiliar with the term, handlers are typically akin to personal assistants who manage various tasks for celebrities, helping them navigate their busy lives. However, it raises questions as to why Corey would choose to work for other celebrities when he already has access to Kris Jenner's wealth. There has been significant speculation surrounding the true role of handlers, suggesting that their primary responsibility is to maintain control over stars on behalf of their Hollywood masters. Numerous celebrities have spoken out about this, alleging that handlers are hired by powerful figures within the industry to ensure that celebrities comply with instructions and keep industry secrets confidential. One notable example is Kanye West, who recently exposed his former personal trainer Harley Pasternak as a handler. Kanye claimed that Harley threatened to have him forcibly committed to an institution. It's quite astonishing to think that someone who was initially perceived as a trainer turned out to have ties to Canadian intelligence. This incident highlights the existence of handlers who operate within the realm of superstardom in California. During Kanye's discussion about Harley, he also expressed worries about other Hollywood handlers who were present in his house and around his children. Although he didn't mention anyone by name, it appeared that he might have been referring to Corey. Given Harley's association with intelligence, Kanye raised concerns about the types of individuals surrounding his kids and questioned who might currently be in his house. The reason Kanye likely alluded to Corey in this interview is that he had previously made public statements expressing his desire to keep Corey away from his children. In the summer of 2020, Kanye sought refuge at his Wyoming ranch, claiming that Kim and Chris were attempting to confine him and subject him to a 5,150 psychiatric hold. In a subsequent tweet, Kanye directly addressed Chris and Corey, warning, Chris, don't play with me. You and that individual are not allowed near my children. You both attempted to have me confined. Many fans have been speculating that Kanye's concerns about Corey stem from Corey's perceived lack of boundaries around the Kardashian kids. One incident that stands out is when Corey mentioned that he would discipline Courtney and Scott's daughter Penelope if she scratched him. When asked about it, he responded, I'm whipping her and I'll explain to all of you later why I would whip her. Astonished, someone clarified, you would discipline Penelope if she scratched you? To which Corey replied, I would definitely give her a spanking. The conversation revealed a disagreement about whether Corey was referring to Penelope scratching him or scratching someone else. The discussion centered around a six-year-old girl, Penelope. This was the issue at hand. At the time, many people sided with Corey because it seemed like Courtney and Scott's children were behaving poorly. However, that wasn't the main point. Scott later clarified that Corey had no right to suggest physically disciplining someone else's child. It wasn't a matter of offering advice as a nanny or suggesting what he would do if he were in their shoes as parents. Corey explicitly stated that he would personally resort to physical harm, which Scott found deeply troubling. He expressed his confusion, stating that he couldn't comprehend someone laying hands on his young daughter. Corey's response was a firm affirmation saying, hell yeah, I would. 
This incident wasn't the only instance where Corey's behavior raised eyebrows in relation to the younger members of the Kardashian-Jenner family. Fans have accused Corey of displaying an odd obsession with Kylie Jenner, as he always appears to be leering at her. Kanye actually noticed Corey's peculiar behavior years ago and made comments about it. In 2019, Kanye expressed his concerns about Corey's peculiar behavior and sent him a text, questioning why he had never introduced his family to the Kardashians. Kanye's message was rather impolite, stating that he found it strange that they had never met Corey's family. However, Chris fiercely defended Corey and accused her family of influencing Kanye's negative perceptions about him. She argued that when they talk negatively about Corey in front of Kanye, he internalizes those ideas and runs with them. Chris acknowledged that they are all different, and she reminded Kanye that he himself used to be considered unusual. But Kanye didn't stop there. More recently, he once again targeted Corey, this time with a more extensive critique. Kanye shared a photo of Corey on his Instagram and accompanied it with a lengthy caption, referring to Corey as godless and highlighting his connections to Diddy and Justin Bieber. Kanye began by stating that he believes God has a plan to remove Corey, whom he described as godless, emphasizing that Corey was never meant to be here anyway. Kanye then acknowledged that Corey is a nice person but not a great person. He mentioned Corey's association with Puff's family in the past and his subsequent connection to Justin Bieber. Kanye claimed that Corey took advantage of the situation when Kris Jenner got divorced and inserted himself into their lives. Furthermore, Kanye shared an incident where he personally removed Corey from his daughter's birthday party. He expressed frustration over never having met Corey's family, implying that they will never cross paths. Kanye concluded by suggesting that Corey had influenced Kim to align with liberal ideologies in a significant way. He also speculated that Corey may be affiliated with a dubious corporation, such as the chemical company DuPont. The mention of Corey's connection to Diddy and Justin Bieber is particularly intriguing because recent reports have surfaced suggesting that Diddy may have been involved in grooming Justin when he was a teenager. And on this occasion, Justin appeared visibly anxious around Diddy, displaying a change in behavior. He said, He hasn't been calling me or spending time with me like we used to. Well, he made attempts to reach out through my associates, but he never really got my direct contact information. Okay? Contact number? Yeah. Regarding Corey, it is unclear when exactly he first crossed paths with Diddy. However, he has been seen at Diddy's parties on multiple occasions and they appear to have a close relationship. Corey also seems to have had a close bond with Diddy's late girlfriend, Kim Porter. When Diddy hosted a party to celebrate Kim's 50th birthday, two years after her passing, Corey was present and shared a throwback photo of himself and Kim on Instagram, along with a heartfelt message. He wrote, Happy birthday, Kim Porter. I will forever be grateful to you and Diddy for everything you did for my life. Now let's talk about Corey's connection to Justin Bieber. Corey was working as Justin's tour manager when he met Chris, and during that time, Corey and Justin were frequently seen together. Given all these circumstances, combined with Kanye's recent comments about Corey, fans have begun to speculate whether Corey is a Hollywood handler hired by Diddy during the period when Justin was struggling with drug use. The purpose would have been to keep a watchful eye on Justin and ensure that he didn't reveal any confidential information about Hollywood. One Reddit user even suggested that Corey was posing as a music executive while actually serving as Justin's handler during his drug using phase. Another fan added, I wouldn't be surprised if Corey is one of those CIA MKUltra handlers, just like Kanye's personal trainer. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.